Okay, so there's your op amp there, plus a negative voltage supply, and there's your V out. Okay, so um, the output, I can copy this down, output from an op amp can never be greater than the voltage supply. Yeah. And a supply voltage. Now that supply voltage to the centre of the off amp there. This supply voltage is Vs. So plus or minus Vs. So V out can never be greater than the plus or the minus Vs. It doesn't matter the gain. You could have an input of 5 volts uh, with a gain of 5, which normally would mean it would go to 25. However, the voltage supply might only be 20. So the op amp will get as far as it can up towards 25, but stop at 20. So if the gain of the op amp means that the output would normally be above the voltage supply, then the op amp will saturate at the voltage supply level. So if the gain of the op amp tries to make the output greater than plus or minus Vs, then the op amp will saturate. Saturate at plus or minus Vs. Which means it will rise up to the point where it would normally be. So it's trying to get to 25, but I can, Vs is only 20, so it will saturate at 20. And it's important you know what the graph looks like. Okay? It's important you know what the graph would look like if that was the case. So I'll do a couple I'll do an input graph and I'll do two output graphs, one where it's going to saturate, one where it doesn't, and let's you see the difference between them and let's you see that little plateau you get on the graph. And that a lot of questions sometimes have the idea of a plateau at the top, a little flat line at the top. I'm going to give you um, I'm going to give you your input graph. I'm going to give you an input graph. So let's say you've got an input um, of a graph which looks like this. Now it can be AC, remember? So just a standard AC wave. And let's say um, it's plus or minus two, minus two, and that's in volts, and that's over time. That's your input graph. So your input is going to oscillate between plus and minus two. And let's say the gain of our op amp uh, equals um, 2, so a gain of 2. Now let's say it's an inverting mode op amp, so in inverting mode, this will also work for differential mode, but in inverting mode that would invert the signal and amplify it by the gain. So in inverting mode, the, the graph, the output graph, And we'll assume that Vs is greater than, oh, let's say Vs is equal to 10. Let's just say you give it a supply voltage equal to 10. So Vs is equal to 10. So plus and minus, plus and minus 10. So that we are giving our op amp uh, an imp a, a voltage supply of plus 10 and minus 10. Okay, that means your V out. If we did that, the gain was 2. It's an inverting op amp, it will change it to opposite sign. So it's going to make the graph do the opposite. <coughs> like that, because that's opposite. And this time it'll get amplified up to plus 4 and minus 4. And that's a simple op amp graph. Now, this is all because Vs is plus or minus 10. That means that you're never going to get greater than Vs. Well, 
if the input was 2. Now what can happen is you can change the input value to a number which means it will get pushed above 10 or you could change the supply value which means that it drops down below 4. Either way you're going to saturate the op amp. So in this example if we drop Vs to 4 or less or if we increase the input to 5 or more it's going to saturate the op amp and not allow it to get to that peak of its AC signal that you've got on the board. So, if Vs was um, less than 4 volts or Vn was greater than 5 volts, the op amp would saturate. Because the output would then go above the 10 volts that you've got here. So the whole point is you've got to get the balance in that between making sure that your VS is sufficient to allow you to get the output that you want. That voltage has got to come from somewhere. If you don't have enough supply, you can't amplify the signal any more than that. So I'm just going to show you what the graph would look like if we did try so if we lower the VS to less than 4, then it can't get to that 4 at the top there. It's going to saturate. So let's do that now. So if I change VS and make plus and minus VS equal to 3 volts, and you change the supply voltage you're given the op amp, and if I then looked at V out over time for this one, so this is V out, uh, and this is time, Again, it's going to go negative. So how many did we have? We had uh, one, two and a half, two and a half waves. So this time, it's going to try and get to its four, but it's going to have to stop at three. Now, bear with me while I do this. So you're going to, I'm just going to draw the graph as normal. And it would go up like that. Oops. It would go around like that. But this time, instead of getting to 4, it's going to stop at 3. So this would be 4. Now I'm going to rub a bit of this out in a minute. Instead of getting to 4, it's going to stop at 3. So there's 3. Because your Vs is 3. So you're going to have this plateauing off at 3. It's going to get to here and go straight. Here and go straight. So I'll rub out the top bits. So it's not going to get to 4. That's going to stop there. Okay? And I'll just rub out the top ones, the top bits here, to show you what the graph would look like. So it's not going to get up to the 4 value. It's going to plateau at 3 because that's the maximum that the voltage supply can provide. Okay? Now does that make sense? So that's what your graph would look like. And these points here. That point there, and that point there, and all these points are all where the op amp is saturating. So the op amp saturate at these points. So it can't get any bigger than the 3, that is the Vs, because Vs is equal to 3 volts, plus and minus Vs equal to plus and minus 3 volts.